Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Sayyid Javed Iqbal. I used to be a professor in the University of Engineering and Technology and I was also a professor in Comsec University. Today I will talk about education and its purpose. Most of us think education is a collection of information, knowing the names, knowing the laws of nature, that we consider education. We know a lot. He is very educated. But actually education is not this one. Education is knowing the laws of nature, information and using it. If we cannot use it, that's not education. It does not bring any benefit to us. I give you an example. About 10 years ago, or maybe more, we found out Pakistan has one of the world's largest coal deposit in Tal. Did this information change anything? Did it improve the life of the people in Pakistan? Load shedding continued to go up. Now we have 8 to 10 hours load shedding every day when the temperature is 45 degrees in Lahore. This is not education. We know the information. We couldn't use it. Using a state of the art information, making sure that it is useful for the people, that is education. Our education system does not get at this thing at all. What do we want here? Go to a higher education center, Punjab University, Engineering University, Comsec, and so many other universities. We just write paper. Write paper so that we can impress overseas people with how smart we are. It doesn't matter it helps our people or not. And remember, all the money which we are getting to pay for all these education centers are from the people. And they are not getting any benefit out of it. That is pathetic. About 15 to 20 years ago, we got together on one idea. We're going to make a nuclear bomb. We did it. We got the information. We made it. Sure. It happened. This is only one of the two incidents when the whole nation get together and they did something about it and they got it. Do you think Pakistan is protected by the army, by America, or by Russia? No, it is not. It is protected by the sheer research of scientists making it happen in nuclear facilities in Pakistan. What did we do after making nuclear bomb? Relax. Didn't know anything. We have a lot of things we could do it. We could have a lot of nuclear power station. If we have done it right, by now there should be no there should be no road shedding in all the big cities. Did it happen? No, it didn't. Even with having a coal in which you don't need state-of-the-art scientists, we didn't know anything. China used 50% of its energy from the coal. 50% of Power electricity is generated by coal. We, with the one of the largest coal mines, a coal deposit, have just one percent. If you go to any of our higher learning education centers, what they emphasize: write paper, write paper, get higher impact factor. It doesn't matter if it helps our people or not. It does not matter that it will improve our life or not. It will improve your 
you guys, because you will publish a paper, you will give a promotion, and you will get more money. That's about it. Because we will be able to make people happy overseas. We are doing just for the name's sake. We are not changing our society. This is our problem. Is not with the people who are studying and doing all these things. Problem is our education policies. We made our education policy around printing papers, not helping people. We have a lot of money for the education, which has been wasted. It did not contribute anything so far. I know to the taxpayer. That is pathetic. We could have done a lot. Do you know? A long time ago, a guy from North China came all the way. After conquering or almost half of the known world, to build up, and his follower, Yaku Khan, attacked build up, killed hundreds of thousands of people, burned down the libraries. When people ask him, "Okay, you may not like people in build up." But why did you burn down the libraries? So look, at that time, people in Bogota consider one of the most civilized, educated people on the face of the earth. Then he said, "You have written so many books. If this book could not protect you, couldn't protect you from the people like me, these books are useless." We burn them. We throw them in the river. We are heading the same way. We are publishing so many paper, but it is not improving our life. If it doesn't improve, the same result will happen. We are misguided, misled by the educationists, so-called educationists. We are on the wrong path. We are wasting the time and money of our nation. I might have well told us long time ago, "Jo shahe brida payashiyan hoga na payda." Thank you.